Guys, it's Matthew Vick with Sonoma Strong Hauling, and today we're heading out to cut up a shed, and we got a few other jobs on the list. And you know you're doing something right, guys, when your wallet looks like this. Check it out. Check it out. When you ain't got time to go to the bank, and you got a bunch of checks in your wallet, you know you're doing something right, guys. So I'm with the redneck today, and we're fitting to get more money. So stay tuned. Oh yeah. So here's job one of the day. Got the redneck. And it's a shed, metal shed that burned down in a fire. And we're fitting to get it done. Yeah, some tile in there. We gotta tie this bad boy up, see if we can yank it real quick. So we tied a rope to an extension cord, to a strap, to another strap, to an extension cord, to the dump trailer, guys. So we're fitting to pull this bad boy apart. Drag it down the hill. Let's do it. Lift. Come on, guys. Tight lines. Hang on. Wait. Slow. So tip of the day, whenever you guys are removing sheds, don't wear shorts. We just folding this bad boy up. Easy money. So the redneck Found some find of the day. What you got? I ain't sharing, dude. You ain't sharing? What you got? I got shit. eBay. What is it? Let's see. 1788, guys. 1788. If that is real. Uh, there's a picture of George Washington on there. Oh wow. If you guys know what this is, comment down below and let us know. It's a 
broke. Oh, it's broke. It might still be where. Oh! Don't do that. That's pretty damn cool. A serial number on a bottle, September 14th, 1971, Collector's Weekly, Kermit, Texas. Oh, yeah. I think I'm going to keep that, dude. Is that all right, sir? Yeah, keep it. So about 45 minutes to an hour later, all the tiles picked up, shed is gone, metal separated. We're fitting to load all this metal up next, guys. Fast, easy, getting it. So this part's all done, the shed's all done. How long did that take, Redneck? I'm not sure, I don't want to be Probably about an hour and 15 minutes. Shed is cleared up, gone. All the metal around here is gone. Almost full and we got one more. A little bit we got to load up over there. So we're getting money, getting it done fast. Don't get overwhelmed with jobs, guys. Just get in there and get it done. So here's the last of the pile, guys. That's it. That really ain't nothing. Yeah, be careful. Look, yesterday I stabbed my fucking finger. It today, hurts. He, today he uh, <laughs> pinched his finger. Ah, oh, that motherfucker hurts. You be able to reel in a salmon or what? Shit. I'm gonna reel in a salmon, dude. If I gotta hold the pole, Matt's gotta reel in the salmon, dude. I still am catching it because I got the pole. We're getting it done. We're ahead of schedule, too. Are we? Yeah, we're, it's gonna be taco time pretty soon. Nice! So, yeah, if you guys ain't busy, keep advertising and hitting that pavement even harder. We're done. Look at that. Nice load, shed removal, and uh, yeah, we're getting money. Tile in there, all kinds of shit in there. We're getting it. And the redneck found a couple things he's gonna keep. Look at him. Always bringing crap home. But that's all right, though. Cheaper on the top of it. Redneck! You doing the redneck? Some glass, some moonshine. No, we got some sick shit here, guys. Come on down, the price is right. What you got, sir? Tell me what you got. It's taco time. It is taco time. So yeah, this whole house burnt down over here, this whole property, guys. They lost their house in the fire. This bottle's worth mad money, dude. All right, guys, if you know anything about bottle collecting like the redneck does, anytime they have weird bumps on them, those are for blind people, guys. So you don't grab the wrong poison bottle. This is Vapo Cresoline. That don't sound good, guys. Sounds like it could Sounds like a bottle of perfume. Make you bleed out the ass for a week. And we ain't cutting nothing out today. No filter today for the no redneck. filter. So it's on to the next job. We got to head to the dumps, get some tacos, and then it's on to the next job. Oh, it's taco time right now. It's taco time. Yeah, guys, always make sure you guys don't run out, run out of water. Keep your trucks full of water. I forgot to load up with water two days ago. We've been over here just burning calories, sweating, but getting it. Make sure the dumpy. 
I'm gonna say 175. Say $75. $75. And whenever you guys are working with stuff that's been in a fire, buy some of these. Stay safe. So it's 133 I won. Oh yeah. It feels good. Pulling up to job number two and it's a bid. This is where we're at guys. We're like in a dentist place, pharmacy place. It's supposed to be some stuff in the shed. We'll see what it is. Let's find out. So the lady just called back and we scheduled that job in for Friday. So we got the bid. And we're at job number three right so now. Since we're waiting for the customer, I'll go over some tools we always bring with us, guys. We always bring some trash cans, a dolly, some straps, sledgehammers, pry bars. Actually, the sledgehammer this guy lost over here. Uh, you lost one. We had two. Bring the extra tarp. Toolbox with a drill. This is important too. We always bring these. Some bolt cutters. Also bring chainsaw and a sawzall. Any more tools we bring? A drill. That's about it, huh? The tool we use most is probably the pry bar. Not the pry bar. We use the sledgehammer and mainly just the sledgehammer and the sawzall. This is my brass, dude. Look at the redneck. He's over here trying to uh, become a scrapper. Oh, that's even brass. Brass plated. Brass plated. That's what we're here just waiting, guys. And always want to have a bunch of bungee cords too. Bungee cords are real important. Shovels and brooms. Snow shovel and a push broom. That's about it. So job three is complete. And I'm gonna show you guys what a minimum pickup looks like for Sonoma Strong Hauling. This is what it looks like. I'll show you guys real quick. All I gotta say is, I love junk removal, and this is why. And that's a minimum pickup. So the redneck took off. He had to go do a side job, and I got one more job to do. And I'm gonna do it with JoJo, and we're gonna trade trucks and trailers. I might just take the truck to the job, I don't know yet. So yeah, stay tuned guys, we're finna show you how we get money. Out here in Sonoma County, baby. Oh yeah. So guess what, guys? This never happens. I'm not in uniform and JoJo is. Yep. Cause I went home and showered up and she just worked her nine to five. She's ready to go do some hauling and balling. So we're heading to the last job of the day, guys, and we're fitting to get money. You got anything to add to that, JoJo? No. Always be in uniform. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're heading to the last job of the day, guys. This is in Santa Rosa, California. Well, here's the last job of the day, guys. It's a little pile, but I got the JoJo. The little jobs, I bring the little JoJo. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's take about, what, 25 minutes, 20 minutes? So we just finished the load. It was three quarters full in the small trailer. It took how long to take, JoJo? About 20 minutes. You breathe kind of hard right there. Oh. 20 minutes? 25 minutes? So yeah, anytime you guys use a credit card, swiper, swipe their credit card and it don't work for some reason, and they give you another card and it don't work again, and they give you a check, what should you do, babe? Just take it to the bank, make sure it clears. Because if it don't clear, we gotta drop that bag off in their driveway. <laughs> 